Hey guys, it's me Beata from horoscopesandreadings.com and welcome to today's video. Today I would like to focus on a Saturn conjunct Venus in a birth chart. But first of all, if you like it here, please hit the subscribe button so I can make more videos for you. You know, uh, I work with my clients almost on a daily basis and yeah, I, I know quite a lot about, you know, their life and even the way they really communicate about love, of course. Um, it can tell a lot about uh, their perception, right? So, uh, when we have someone who has a conjunction between Saturn and Venus, it can actually be very interesting one, even though, uh, even when I read uh, this type of chart, I always tell my client that, you know, probably uh, things got better with time because this is what uh, Saturn aspects do. Uh, it's like we mature with time and we are able to really handle uh, these aspects easily right conjunction uh, is the strongest aspect so don't get fooled that it is easy to deal with definitely no because uh, everywhere you have saturn you have to be very patient with results you know um you know you are not very spontaneous there right so Definitely, uh, with these people, we can say that they are not spontaneous with love. You know, um, from my practice, I have two observations about this aspect. First, we have people who marry young, okay, or in, in younger years, right, like in their 20s or, or something like that, and they stick with that person, right, because... When you have Saturn conjunct, conjunct Venus, you really are willing to survive, you know, uh, in that marriage, no matter what, no matter how hard it is and, you know, no matter what you have to sacrifice, because once you made that commitment, you stick to that, okay? So, yeah, these people are definitely loyal. Of course, we have to look at everything, but, but like generally speaking, these people are loyal because once they make their mind, once they make their investment, they stick to it. So this is like my first observation. Another one is that we might have uh, someone uh, with this aspect who was alone like very long periods of time you know like like really 10 years 20 years it's like these people can be loners because you know based on their like early experiences in Lao and these experiences were very painful they pretty much shut down and they don't trust anymore okay so i'm actually very curious about your take on this aspect if you have this one it would be very lovely from you to share it with my audience because you know we learn from each other i don't have this aspect really but uh, but um i don't even know why because <laughs> because I guess uh, I am a lot like that, but uh, it's not my aspect. But uh, someone who has this aspect, and if you have like boyfriend, or I don't know, if you, if you have your object of interest with this aspect, uh, the best way how to really uh, be in a commitment with this type of people is really let them invest in you. I mean, this is great general rule for every everybody really, but uh, but uh, especially with these people, uh, they value their their invest their money and effort, right? Because 
uh, really, Venus is not only planet of love, but it's also planet of money. And with Saturn, it's like very, can be really very cold calculation if this will pay off for me, okay? That's why um, these people are definitely able to enter relationships that are much more like business type of relationships but uh, we have to understand that uh, these people typically don't have very good uh, self-esteem and uh, and uh, they feel this is this is bottom line they feel like they have to work hard to earn your love okay it's like love is not for free really with saturn venus they have to invest they have to work hard they have to provide this is great uh, person uh, like provider you know can be very conservative but um, values are more conservative but in a good way right but uh, these type of people uh, they believe that uh, you will love them more when they do more for you, right? Because Saturn is a, like, it's hard work, right? You know, everything uh, what we, like, have uh, from Saturn, it really has to be somehow earned, okay? So, um, so they are really used to having relationships like give and take really there is like business sense but um when they can invest in you when they can provide when they can help you it really boosts their confidence you know especially if you give them your love okay it is not easy uh, for these people to open up, to verbalize uh, what they feel for you. They are almost blocked there, okay? So it, it really takes time for them to open up and to freely uh, tell you how they feel. So I don't recommend to put any pressure for these people because with these people, it's easy. If that person invests in you, if this person pays on dates, if this person helps you, uh, this is how they show their love to you, okay? So typically not big talkers unless, you know, a lot of Gemini stuff is present, but they are very reliable and these are people like commitment types. So once they commit, they really stick to that, okay? Uh, because, you know, um, with Saturn, they are able uh, to really overcome difficulties. They are pretty much used to difficulties in, in love life, so it's not something, uh, I don't know, it, it's not something that would scare them, really, uh, because they understand that uh, we really have to pay price for everything and they can be very much down to earth with the saturn venus uh, especially if you know venus is even in in earth sign so it can be uh, very much so okay so guys i am really curious about your experiences and especially if you have this aspect i am personally very curious how this plays out out in your relationships if you would agree with me uh, with this video and with my observations or, or really what you think because you know um, um, if you have this aspect you know how you feel you know what is your uh, reality uh, and uh, it's always great to know your point okay so that's all I have for you of course if you have any troubles in love or if you really just want to know more about yourself your future everything uh, just check my website horoscopesandreadings.com or read description below this video because you can book a reading with me it's really simple so that's all i have for you i wish you a very nice week and uh, bye bye